Hello and welcome to 7 Minute Guitar. Also check us out on facebook.com slash 7 Minute Guitar for the resources that are used in these videos. Today on 7 Minute Guitar we're going to introduce the five different locations of the F chord, five locations on the neck, and introduce the scales that are associated with those. You will definitely see how this E form F chord is connected to the E form scale and how the D form F chord connected to the D form scale. We've introduced the F chord before so today we're going to make an E chord with these three fingers. We're going to place our fingers, make our E chord and then we're going to slide it up to our F position and bar. So we'll call this our first F chord. Our second F chord will build off of this root right here and will make a D chord. And if you've been following these lessons in order, you'll know that the next form chord to come is this C form, but in this position right here at the 8th <laughs> fret, it's the F chord. Now again, here's our root note, sorry, and we'll make an F chord using this A form right here. And finally, our F chord if we use a G form right here. So here is our root note here on the 13th fret, and there is an F chord using the G form. At this point I also want to bring in um, the other <coughs> bar styles chords. We had our F chord so that means if we moved here we'd have an F sharp. It also could be called the G flat. And there's our G chord. Now this fingering position uses the E type scale, the, the major scale. So here we're going to play our root note here and our second note and I'm going to play this open string as my third note, fourth note, fifth note, again the D open string and there's one scale. Now if we introduced that to the G sharp scale, it would be just like any other E major type scale. So what this is showing is that this type, this form of scale, can go anywhere on the neck. You play the same fingering, but just the root note changes. G sharp, C, A, mm, D, right there. E, F sharp. Now I'm going to pause with the introduction of the F and the F sharp, and bring in the introduction of the B. The B chord has to be made as a bar chord at different locations. There is really no open string B chord with your standard tuning. So our first position B chord will be made right here with our root note on the fifth string, second fret, and in the A form. Now remember my middle ring finger doesn't bend back properly so I use my pinky finger. So here we are with a B major. Now on our next B major right here in the G form. Seventh fret right here. And of course still seventh fret root note our B major in the E form. Remember to hold those strings down tight, because otherwise you get dead strings like that. Um, our D, I'm sorry, B major, 
chord in the D form. And don't deaden those strings. And of course the next would be the B major in the C form all the way up here at the 14th fret. Now let's run through <clears throat> a couple of the uh, the scales. Of course, if we're in our B major, um, then we're going to use this A form scale, this major scale. And if you haven't been following these lessons in order, um, that shouldn't make a difference. But these forms of scales will make more sense if you've already had a couple uh, lessons. Now, if I do this G form scale up here, that's the very next connected scale. And of course the E form scale. out of time for today but that's really why I waited till the end to introduce the F the F sharp and the B major chords and scales because it really doesn't bring anything new to the table not like the C A G E D form chords and scales did so take the information you have from those other lessons combine it with this lesson and uh, in the next lesson I'll go through a few different locations of where the scales are Thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel, check out Facebook.com for the photos of the scales and the chords used.